Hey, what's up, guys? This is a Tone here, and today I'm bringing you guys an interesting video. So this video is pretty much going to be me making a poster. Now, I was either gonna make a poster for the new Assassin's Creed game or for Valorant, and I thought Valorant. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So um, this is gonna be a walkthrough. So you better, you better sit down on your computer and be ready to make some stuff, guys. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is create, and then go to um crap. Where did I find this? Um, it's in here somewhere. Trust me. Letter. Okay, this is a pretty good poster size, I'd say. All right. So, now I'm making a new layer above that. And then I'll go to good old Google. And look up Valorant Ping Images. And let's see what we got here. So I'm going to be kind of going for a, um, what did you say, Avengers type poster feel. So, Evern. <laughs> So, I should be able to find a poster here pretty quick for you guys. So, something sort of like this, really epic looking, you know. I'm not going to like steal their style or anything, but you know what I'm saying. So, I will start off by grabbing some characters that are in pretty cool poses. Uh, like this, for example. Pretty cool. And then I'm just going to copy and paste a bunch of these. Oh, crap. I forgot I have to save them. Uh, okay, so I'm going to save a bunch of these into a little new file. Um, Alright, new folder. Hey guys, be patient. Patience is key to success. So, I know you probably want to click off, and a lot of people probably already have clicked off, if we're being honest. So, you're just, you're lucky to even still be here. Um, so, I guess I'll just save them here, because my computer doesn't want to. So, I'm just going to save a bunch of these, um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to try and find ones that look pretty cool posed-wise, you know, like action-packed, you could say, like this. This is very action-packed. That's the same lady, though, right? Um... So, yeah, I'm just trying to find the coolest of cool, like that. And they're going to all be different sizes, so we'll just have to arrange them in the way that we best see fit. So, pretty much, I've got the majority of the people I want here. Uh, I will grab her, though, I think. Did I already get? I don't know. Um, I haven't gotten this guy though, that's for sure. Try and find bigger images, so 600 by 1300, that's really good size. So, not like 200 by 300, that would make it low quality. So now we're going to place a bunch of these, and sort of arrange them as we place them, if that makes sense. And I'm going to try and do this quick. I'm not trying to milk your guys' watch time, even though that would be nice. But, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to just be like that. So, yeah, I'm going to start grabbing these. And I'm not going to go with this one because it's a different style than the rest of them. I realized later. So, let's find these again. Alright, and just start. I think we can... Yeah, we can only place one at a time, so... Just do that real quick. Try and be real quick about it. And like I said, it's just going to be sort of an arrangement of characters as well as like maybe a cool background or cool lighting, you know, the standard cool poster stuff. Okay. 
then hopefully this isn't too busy because a lot of them are posed very similarly that's what i'm noticing um so there might be a lot of people at the same height is what i'm getting to getting at i should say um but yeah let's see all right so now we have our people so i want this person up close first because She's already kind of at the forefront of this whole thing. And then this one is also very close already. So maybe like that sort of feel, you could say. There, and then this one I'll put back here maybe. This one, uh, I guess there. See, I want the heights to be kind of correct too, um, but they don't have to be, I guess. And this guy, he'll be like in the back, just being all cool. Um, and then this one, let me put him in the center because he looks all ominous. All right, so that looks kind of messy right now, right? So first of all, I'm gonna move this one down a little bit. And then I think I'll put the Valorant logo like right here, um, just to have it all centered off and looking nice. So let's save this real quick. Alright, so we're saving that. So then what I'm going to do now is Valorant's logo ping. Alright. Um, save this. And I'm going to place that. So I'm just placing it now just to kind of find out where I want it. Not really to um, actually have it stay there. It's just going to be like a point marker you know so that's kind of where I want the logo so now I can figure out how to work best around the logo um, so I'll make that white so it pops a little bit better and I'll make the background black for now all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush this big brush and start lighting these guys to Make them all have the same feel, like they're in the same room, same atmosphere. So I'm going to take this brush and start doing that. Um, and you're just going to take black, and you're going to go over and shade like such. And then I'm gonna, you're masking it over each one, so you hold all. So um, this tutorial is made for semi beginners, um, just so you guys know. If you are brand new to Photoshop. Um, this is good to learn too, but just like every little step um, will not be explained in this tutorial. Um, so you're pretty much just finding each character and you're doing lighting to make them look um, like people are standing in front and behind each other, you know, giving them a feel like they're all there. That's the goal. So I'm just starting with shadows. You can start with light if you want. Um, but I just want to do shadows and you can choose between overlay or soft light. I'm gonna go with soft light for now because it's not as strong. So I don't want to go too strong and then have, um, really dark shadows where I don't want them. Uh, yeah. And then just make sure you're getting everyone, you know, don't leave one person out cause it'll be noticeable. Might not be to you, but people will see it if you post it um, and you'll want it to look nice when you do such thing but then once again it's all personal preference so yeah I'm just kind of here to show you how to do the basics and then with that you can choose how you want to light how you want to direct this image so yeah, and then I'm just taking, this is all with the mouse, by the way, because um, I know not everyone has 
special tablets and stuff like I didn't a few years ago so yeah this is a good starter if you are looking to move into Photoshop illustration digital illustration as well just doing stuff like this helps you learn the tools to illustrate um, okay so now we have each each person is shaded um, now we're gonna go in with the white and highlight so yeah let's do this taking this white and then this one I'm gonna turn the opacity down to about halfway and then turn the brush down a little bit as far as size goes and then we're just gonna highlight parts of the body um, that just stand out more you know I'll put overlay on that and then how much you want to do is all up to you so I'll just be putting the highlight layer below the shadows layer for this um, so yeah you're just kind of finding out what you want to do and just sort of make it look dynamic and then overlay is going to be too much sometimes so just feel free to turn it down a bit because overlay can be very powerful very powerful all right so and then if you turn it down on one you're probably going to want to turn it down the other if it looks very bright however like this person is very lit up so i might not put much at all as far as lighting goes on them just maybe a little bit to make it look more like she's there but she was already very well lit up so it doesn't do much good to really add a lot to her lighting so and i'm gonna add some more on this dude make him look more there and some it'll be just fine with a hundred percent opacity so just play it by ear as they say And yeah, okay, so now we've got that. So now they're all semi lit together and they look sort of together. So grab the top one as well as the layers masked on it, all right? Hold shift, click the bottom, and then group them together like so. So now it's all one big layer. And then I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller too. Didn't realize how big it was. Okay, doesn't wanna center for me. All right, so now it's centered. Um, and then the whole group, make a layer above it and then mask that down onto there. Okay, so now, now what we're gonna do is take the paint bucket and I'm gonna grab just about this color and maybe a little bit less saturated, a little bit more like that. And I'm gonna mask it down like that. I'm gonna put it as soft light. So then now it looks like they're all sort of in the same area. So that's a very quick thing to make it look more um, dynamic well not that's not really the word but yeah so now pretty much what I'm gonna do is start adding cool little accent things so for example I'm gonna go under this layer and I'm gonna grab this and go outside like such sort of just adding to the brightness of this design you know Making it a little bit more magical, you could say. Um, yeah, and see, now that's glowing before, after. So it just makes it look quite a bit cooler, in my opinion. So now I'm going to grab this as well, and then do some lighting behind here. Um, I think I do want a little bit darker of an orange for this. And then, um, as well as behind this guy, I'm just putting some, just to sort of outline the characters as well. Um, sort of gives it that cool feeling. And feel free to experiment as well. Um, that's the whole point of a lot of this stuff. 
And then on the ground here, I'm going to do a big black shadow. Um, just to sort of get rid of all their feet. Because <laughs> I don't really want their feet in there. Um, as well as mix, make a shadow there too. Um, turn that down there. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to touch it up even more. Just to get rid of those, those feet there. Alright, so that is the overlay onto it. Now make sure you're saving still. And then now what I'm going to do is look up Valorant. Just Valorant. Oh wait, Valorant. Alright, see what comes up. So we get some game images. So one thing you'll notice. This is their branding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this just to get the color. And I'm going to paste it right here. And then we can also use this to get the feel of how their posters usually look. How their game usually looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the elements that they have in their game. Posters and such. So I'm going to go like this. Um, like so. And just try and mimic. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, because it's just practice. But yeah, just making the sort of shapes and then fun things to do are um, things like wait I'm gonna do that so I'm going to drag this below um, this character which is right here if I'm right yeah so that's not really what I want um, let's see can I solve this? How? How? Um, pretty much what I'm gonna do here then. Let's think. So the issue is, I'm asking this all into here, but I don't want it to be in this group. But it has to be below. So, if I have it below here, is it there? Okay, so it's not if it's below there. But see, then we still have an issue because it's not there. But um, I guess that's okay for now. Um, I'm going to duplicate this. And then if I go above here. But then select the outside of the character. This big brain stuff, guys. And then... Oh, wait. This I need to add... Okay, so now we have that. So then, select inverse, right? Okay, so then I make this, and then I just cut it out. Just erase. So now we have this above. So that's kind of what I'm going for. So I can now get rid of the other one, but actually I'll just duplicate that. Um, I'll leave it there. But then let's control T, control flip it around um, and let's do that so that will look kind of neat all right so then let's just keep adding more of these um, so what I'm gonna do is just um, add one like say here boom and then I'm gonna add one below back here as well boom and then I kinda wanna put one around here like a thin one maybe um but I'm not sure I don't know it kinda looks cool so I'm gonna add one right here real quick too just to sort of border this thing up And then I don't know if I should have the person coming around this one. Uh, let's see. Let's try it out. 
That's how you figure things like this out. You just try it, see if it works. If it doesn't, just boom, not. All right, so select inverse. And let's see. Does, does it look better? Yeah. But I think I need to get rid of that one. So that is kind of where we're at right now. And then you notice they have this blue. This dark blue is their color for their game. So I'm going to make that the background, I think, instead of black. Um, and then as well as make the layers. So these layers right here. So instead of black, these are going to be that blue. And it'll still have the same effect of fading them. But it'll just be fitted to blue instead. Alright. So now I'm going to take the um, effects layer that we made. This one. And then I'm going to turn it down. Just a little bit bright. Alright. And then I'm going to look up a um, dot pattern. Sort of like the one that they have here. Thank you guys for staying this long. If you did, very epic of you. Alright, so now we're going to want to put something like this over it, but not exactly that. Let's see how this looks. Okay, that might actually work. Um, but first, we have to duplicate it a bunch of times. Okay, just keep duplicating it and then make it sort of a giant pattern. You're just trying to cover most of it. All right, and fix that up real quick. Fix this up real quick. All right, so now we're going to merge all these, go to multiply, and then I'm going to drag this. Uh, I'm not going to drag it actually. My bad. Um, I'm going to take this. And then I don't want it to appear on the players. So that what I'm going to do to do that is drag it below these guys. Um, I did something wrong though. Okay, so I also want it to be masked onto this. And this. And this. And this. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these. And then I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. My key is sticking. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Um, and then just to add some final details, I'm going to grab the brush and do an overall sort of shadow thing, shading thing, with a dark blue, very dark blue. So I'm going to grab that and just do some overall shading. Let's do it the middle and the sides, really. Turn that to an overlay. That is not what I want it to look like. Um, can I just mask that to that? Alright, so I'm just going to mask it to the specific layers on here so it doesn't affect everything. And then I'm also going to select the three of them and turn them down because that's just too much too much right now all right and just trying to think of anything else i should add to this oh i'll put a little drop shadow on the valorant logo so double click on the layer as and then click drop shadow and i do not want it to look like that so turn my turn your spread down a lot this is preference again 
Um, so then have the angle be 90. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put the size at about there. And then you can have this as overlay or as normal. I'm going to put it as normal and then grab this blue color. Um, actually, like a darker blue. One of the darker blues. And that will just sort of, oh, if you see before and after, makes it stand out better. Look a little bit nicer. So, yeah. And then the last step of this, which is a very important one, is to grab all the layers, hold shift, put them in a giant group, and then alt, drag, duplicate them, merge the group. Then it's all one layer now. So then what I'm going to do is go into filter, camera raw filter. All right. And then it takes a minute to load up. Camera raw is amazing, but it's it's pretty complicated. All right, so now that we're here, we can see the image as well as parts outside the image. So what I'm going to do is in here, you can adjust the entire feel of the thing. So um, I'm going to turn the temperature, mess with that a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to cooler and then more pink. All right, and the exposure, I'm going to turn, um, turn that down a little bit. Contrast up a little bit. Just sort of mess with it to make it look the best way that you think it should. That's the whole point of design. Um, and then whites, you can just choose how bright or how dark you want things. Um, so yeah, and then texture. If you look pretty close, when you move the texture, you can see it adds, um, sort of smooths it up, and then clarity as well. So, but you're going to want to be careful with this because it can really make the designs look bad. Um, very cartoony sometimes too. So, I would not recommend turning texture up all the way on a design like this. On a normal design, yeah, sure, because it's probably normal people. Um, but because these guys are cartoons... Um, it can do stuff like that, which you don't really want to see. Um, so just play with it lightly. And then things like clarity. Clarity might be the worst enemy for these characters. So um, let's see. And then part of that can be fixed as well by um, exposure as well and contrast. So. If I turn my contrast down and then turn my texture up or my clarity up, it sort of looks better sometimes. So, yeah, and then vibrance as well. So, how how vibrant do you want it? I do want mine pretty vibrant. Um, just how I want it. And then saturation as well. I don't understand too much the difference between the two, but I just know there's some sort of difference. So, yeah, let's see what the finished product looks like. Boom the finished product so yeah i think it looks pretty good i hope you guys did enjoy the video i know it's a long video but um my other really long video a lot of people did enjoy and it's one of my number one performing videos um it gets like a thousand views a month and it was uploaded like a year ago so um and it's 40 minutes long so this is like oh uh, it'll probably end up being 30 by the end but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did stay this long, that's amazing. You guys just gave me a ton of watch time, so I'm very grateful. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.